control the sort of encounter that way. So if uh, you guys want to make some checks, I don't recommend that Zenorn makes a, a Dungeoneering check, since that didn't work so well last time. I, 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 I want to try one last time. After this, I want to make, make, make Dungeoneering checks, I, if that's alright with you. I feel kind of good about this Dungeoneering check coming up. I don't know. Alright. I want to make okay. a Okay. I want to yeah, make a yeah, right. No pressure. Nope. If you don't roll good, we kill you. Oh! <laughs> Fuck. If we don't date yes. in the meantime. There you go. Take that. Oh, wow. Another back. day. Just gotta push him against the wall and make him bleed. And then he rolls good. Kimari, shut Would up. Would anyone else like to contribute? Well, I can see stealth and perception and perhaps some other skills coming into play here. Uh, perhaps even a diplomacy check. This might be a good time just to do it now, even though we haven't actually started that. Diplomacy will will factor in. You want to approach correctly. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe insight or insight right would now. be fantastic. I only have like athletics as a good skill and uh, intimidate. Same goes for me. Okay. Well, I mean, theoretically, you might be able to use intimidate to do something here. You just don't want to. Oh. I still couldn't do it. Why or not? I Two. Do that. I do that. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, that eight that failed, what skill was that? Better than Grumden. Athletic. I, I don't think athletics is actually applicable here, so you can roll something else if you'd like. Hmm. If you... Yeah, yeah, I'll just roll intimidate. I guess you're right. Let's see. We do walk around with the beast in the front looking at intimidation. What are you good at? That's a inside troll. Mm, that's fine. Yeah. And a twenty intimidate. You don't wanna you don't I wanna fuck do up the intimidate too. check, let me really tell you. Need it anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's just you know, voice cracks right then and there. We're all make fun of you for having Well no even balls. the thing is, even if it's not it's not that, you can go over the top and then elicit the wrong sort of reaction. Because it's it's this is a careful balancing act. Okay, I'm going to say that three successes is pretty good. Only one failure. Uh, actually, yeah, only one failure on the insight. I'm going to say this. Now, I could do an insight check too, though. Or is it not required? I, at this point, I'm going to say there are enough successes. You guys manage to find a group. Actually. Actually, hold on. I forgot I had a specific encounter in mind here. Oh god, encounter. Specific encounter usually means one or two parties. Here's games. what happens. Three rage drakes. No, you guys, you guys are, are looking for a target and... Raid, riding a rage drake accompanied by gutter snakes. You finally, what you do is you find a group of three kobolds. They appear to be arguing somewhat over what to do with someone that they have seemed to have captured somehow uh, in, a, in a trap. Kobolds are notorious for their trap smithing, and it looks like there is uh, a, a well taller than kobold, an, an average-sized humanoid. Um, actually, do a perception check, anyone or everyone. I can do a perception check. Anyone can do it. Okay. Deacon well, isn't even looking the right way. Deacon, your helmet obscures your view. I'm just fixated on my gloves the whole time. I'm like, man, there's All right, Chimeri's eyes are sharp enough <laughs> to be able to identify that they have, in a, uh, in a snare trap, they have captured someone who appears to be a, a dragonborn. Now, the kobolds haven't actually approached yet. Uh, they, yeah, they're sort of arguing with each other about what to do. Deacon, you can pick up some of the dialogue. I believe, Deacon, you can speak Draconic, right? Yep. Deacon can pick up some of the dialogue, and yeah, they're they're kind of they're kind of stumped. Um, it was sort of just they they set up the traps at some point, but they never really expected to necessarily catch anyone. And now they don't want to kind of approach the giant, scary-looking dragonborn. Um, and yeah, so they're they're just sort of stuck. They, like, should they go get someone? Should they do something? What do they do? And in you, you guys all sense that in this moment of in, indecision, it's actually maybe a good time to approach them. Um, 
and they also don't they're not they're not warriors that you can tell they seem to be engineers and trapsmiths so their instinct is not going to be to fight you what if he's a rat man no 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 I don't know I've been burnt one before he's a dragon rat I don't think we should rescue him now let's go for it yeah, we we are nice. Right. We'll go rescue. Well, no Hopefully, we'll get a valuable member. First. Yes. According to the I'll go in. All rat men. Hmm. I'm sure that. So maybe this is a nice yeah. rat men. So are we gonna intimidate them? Should I make dinosaur noises? Don't scare them away. <laughs> what the hell is this dinosaur <laughs> noises crap? It's like, it's like deacons intimidate plus dinosaur noise equals people running away. It's true. Yeah, yeah but dinosaurs are extinct and only retards run away from dinosaur noises. Deacon, what's your intimidate bonus? Well, if we're yeah. then all Professor Dr. Mindfuck, so... Shh. It's plus five. Yeah, um... Uh, that's uh, Mr. Dr. Professor Mindfuck. Everyday life animal thingy. Yeah, we I make dinosaur someone. noises. But what kind of dinosaur? I'll send you a link. Alright, Quill. I don't care anymore. You proved your point. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Okay, well, you guys are sort of staring there. Is anyone, like, are you just gonna scare away? The kobolds with dinosaur noises? Is that the plan? I see what I'm thinking. them and be like, what's up? Oh, I like dinosaur noises. <laughs> but I've got a good we can go say what's up. I'm pretty sure they would run away. He is a dragonborn while making a dinosaur noise. <laughs> I don't know. Dragons and dinosaurs are different. Who cares that kobolds, they don't know. Where did you even so learn we how to make that? dinosaur noises? I'm, I'm magic. I'm magic. Well then again, you're an immortal, you've been living for so long, you probably learned from the dinosaurs. <laughs> exactly, I'm glad you understand. So, yeah, that's my plan, if you guys have a better one. Oh, I let him make dinosaur noises. What? He's been going on and on and on and on about it. We this charge the roll. Um, weapon and cheated and just try to scare them with that. I mean, they're not so warriors. Are you going to do an intimidate check? I I'm going to just remind you guys. Oh, so I'm going to do Before you guys just try to scare these kobolds away, I'll remember that you. at some point you had discussed the idea of perhaps trying to get some information out of kobolds. These may not be the ones you want to do that for, but I, I just did want to remind you guys. I could do a diplomacy. Hmm, good point. These guys are trap makers. They just trap the guy. Are we gonna go talk to them? We don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> what happened to that? <laughs> They're all terrorists. Yeah, but, uh, if we talk to them, we might, I don't know, convince them to... What if they give us Reveal information on where other traps, traps are? Other okay, fine, let's go. Okay, fine, if Dr. Professor Mindfuck doesn't fuck it up, we'll go do it. Mr. Dr. Professor Mindfuck. You will not earn Mr. <laughs> until you, this campaign ends. He's like Captain oh God. Jack Sparrow. 17. What's the 17 for? I thought we were doing a diplomacy check, or is that not up yet? No, that's fine. Right, we need, wait, we need there is yet. one particular okay. problem, of course, is do you speak Draconic, which is what the Kobolds speak. Uh, uh, we have the book of talking languages. Book of ah. languages from the Book Ripper dude. My god, it's almost like that might come in handy. Whoa. Almost. Almost. It's like he gave it to us for a reason. So do I, can I use it and like read it and like talk to them at the same time? Let me look at the on your ritual. Or... Doesn't the ritual take like eight hours um, to perform or something? I think it's maybe ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. 
I was off. So the way it works is uh, you start the ritual, you choose a language, which you must have heard and you have, um, and when you use it, it allows you to understand it for the next 24 hours. You do, a, you do a, an arcana check to do the ritual. If you succeed, you'll understand the language for 24 hours. If you come out with a 35 or higher, then it'll allow you to speak it. So that's unlikely to happen, I suspect. Would have been nice to know. Well, natural 20. Okay, can't um, Deacon translate? Of course Deacon can translate. Yeah, why can't I just... Yeah, God. So <laughs> basically, Deacon, I will require you to also do a diplomacy role to see that you can properly convey the message from Chimeri. And oh Chimeri boy. will have to tell us exactly what he's trying to say. What do you want me to say? We didn't exactly go over this. Well, we want we want the uh, Dragonborn, and we also want to talk to them and kind of let them know we're not here to murder them. The Dragonborn, by the way, doesn't see anyone and else. And awesome if they didn't know about the this kobolds stuff. are watching him from a distance. Uh, he doesn't know that they are seeing him, and you guys are on the opposite side of that even further. So, the Dragonborn is not going to be participating in this particular conversation unless you guys like go all the way around and talk to him or something like that. Okay. Um. Well, why don't we first? I'm gonna come here and I go them. talk to the. Yeah, we go talk to them and the other yeah, guys. No. Just go. Why don't we talk them all about? We're gonna talk about the stone or freeing them because we need both informations. What I'm saying is, Chimir and I go kind of like talk to them, and they'll be all like, "Oh my god, oh my god, strangers!" And then the rest of the party just goes and frees the Dragonborn. The or, the Dragonborn think, well, might be um, aggressive. Well, not friendly. Yeah, since he doesn't know who trapped him. He's probably a rat man, actually. Okay, that's a good idea. While you guys are talking, how about we run around the back, convey to the Dragonborn that we are friendly, do not uh, get angry, we're here to free you. We all good with that? Yeah, and if we fail, he will I'm stop just here that. Yeah. Heal people. I'm fine with that. Okay, that's what we'll do. Okay, so it's Chimeri and Deacon who are going to be standing here discussing things with the Cobalt, is that correct? Okay, yep. that might actually be good because there'll be fewer of you, they won't be completely scared off immediately and you may actually be able to talk to them uh, that way. Um, so Chimeri has done a diplomacy check, I believe I'm still waiting on Deacon to make a roll and then at the same time also Chimeri to tell me what exactly he's trying to say. Um, what exactly do we want to say? We haven't specifically... Do we, what do we want to ask about? The stone? I think we're just approaching and being like, Hey, how's it going? You know, so what's up? Like, okay. we're, we're just here to chat. We're just some info. Alright. Yep. I'll say... Hello. Sup, son? I'll say, hello... Brosifs, how's how's the looting been? Brosif, of course, a very yeah, well-known cobalt know. expression of, of peace the, and friendship. How's the trapping been? That's exactly what it means. Of course. And we sneak around and talk to the Dragonborn while this is going on, trying to convey that we are friendly and we're not here to harm him. We are going to free him from okay. the trap. Does he have any response to this? Um, we'll we'll deal with that shortly. Because it may take you guys a little bit of time to get around, okay. but it, it, that won't be an issue. It's not Erevin's character, it's someone who's actually going to murder you. So He's like a baneling, as soon as you approach, he just explodes. <laughs> yeah, that's what we sound what? like, a magic missile. <laughs> well, magic missile <laughs> enter his unconscious and then wake him up. He just blows yeah, yeah, it'll be Erevin's character. We'll just we'll just deal with the uh, the cobalt issue first, and then we'll, we'll move to there. Um, okay, so... Yep, You're yep. basically giving them a sort of a generic greeting here with the how's it going, how's the trapping, and uh, the role was yeah, good enough that yeah they're can't. they're definitely startled when they first see you, and you can see their first reaction maybe to run away, but you're sort of on the other side of them from the dragonborn. They're not exactly looking to run by the dragonborn either, um, so they don't they don't immediately run and then and then they're 
they get the sense, okay, you're not here to just instantly kill them. So they're like, yet. Yeah, well, what do you want? What are you doing here? You're not going to instantly kill them yet. What you do in this town? Um, so I translate that for him, I guess. Yeah, yeah. What do we, how do we want to respond to that? Do we want to say we stumbled upon a battlefield we didn't want to be in? And we just want to look for a stone that was said to be here? And do they know, do you guys know anything about that? Maybe? I don't know. Does that yeah, work? something like that. Like we were wandering through, we heard about a stone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, right. we're just we'll wondering if you that. guys know anything. Okay, one sec. So, oh yeah, okay. So you're telling them that you're you're wondering about a stone, and you want to know if they know anything. That's what you said. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you. We hear the rock that kills. Is that what you look for? I hear about this. They don't have any anymore. That's why we're here. Huh. Could we talk to your supervisor? Anyways, um, I don't know. What do we say after that? Like, guys, or I guess, come here. What the, what the, say what they what don't the have say? He said that. He, they said well, they said th this one cobalt said they'd heard about these stones before, but they, 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 they said there's there no more left because otherwise, how could the cobalts be here? Basically. Although Deacon oh, okay, had a pretty good then. question there. If you guys actually want to pose that. I don't. What did he say? Uh, are, are we three far enough to not give suggestions, or can we still, you know? Don't you guys can talk out of character, it's fine. Meta gaming. Okay. Okay, I, I say we ask where to see the head cobalt. And uh, Mortius can can even get in the on this if he cobalt. wants. Are we sure we want to do the head cobalt? Because, like, what if they just lead us into a trap and the cobalt's, like, kills us? Okay, Dr. Professor Mindfuck, what do you suggest we do to get the stone, then? I say we just ask um, for the boss. Okay. Okay, we'll ask for their boss, and then we'll see the hideous friendly, death that so... awaits us. So yeah, we okay. ask if um, their boss I is nearby, because we'd like to talk to them. if his boss is nearby, and if he is available for an appointment. <laughs> Alright, do a diplomacy check. Both of you. Very good. This is one more than my last. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, so yeah, they're actually like, the kobolds are sort of digging the idea of just talking to you guys. They're still very intimidated, but they're like, okay, maybe we can just, you know, talk to them and they won't kill us, and all right, that'll be fine. Um, and uh, so they, they are not, they will go ahead and tell you that um, our leader is... Well, we we don't have a leader, but there there are important ones. There's who could who could they talk to? And one of them says, Triflick, Triflick might know. Oh yes, 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 Triflick. He knows a lot about the treasures of the town. He has looted many many places. Maybe he knows something. All right. Can we say where are where is Triflick? Where can we find him? Wait, I, I suggest we, since they're being so nice, I just suggest we take the Dragonborn as well. We talk to them about the Dragonborn, or is that asking too much? Mm. I thought you guys stole them already. No, yeah. I don't know, since this conversation is going so well, we might ask them how we will get rid of their problem for them. We'll clear the okay. trap for um, a nominal fee. I know that might work. For a healthy sum of... 399 we can go kill that dragon born for you uh and dump his body where he won't be discovered how about we take him off your hands i don't know how does that sound um 
So we're offering to kill the Dragonborn? No, well, obviously we're not, but what do they think we're gonna do with them? I ask what's up with the Dragonborn. You just wanna say, okay. No, what's up with the trap? I don't think they no. know what the Dragonborn Oh, yeah, sure they do. Or what's the up thing with... is, Dragonborn and Kobolds are actually with... related in a certain way. They both come from dragon blood. He says, oh, we catch him. Right. We do not know what to do with him. You get caught in one of our traps, and I don't know. And one of them says, just let him go, let him go. We don't want to deal with him. No, we can't do that. We have to tell other people. They have to come. They kill him. We take his stuff. Yes, stuff, stuff, stuff. And they all kind of start getting excited about that idea. Okay. Tell you what. I, <laughs> we'll take, tell you I, uh, what. We'll take I pull out. And kill him for you. I pull out 50 GP worth of that stuff I found. I'm like, I'll give you stuff for him. Oh, stuff! Yeah, okay, sure. All yours. Oh man, look at all this stuff. Here, have my stuff. And I'll take yeah. him. You're not even going to need a diplomacy check on this. They just love stuff. <laughs> yeah, shiny, shiny. clearly this is stuff that Cobalt would have liked in the first place since they collected it, right? So this is just like perfectly on board with, with them. So I trade stuff for a Dragonborn. There we go. Wait, do we need finger bones? I'll just give finger bones <clears throat> from the butcher. Ooh, no, these look like this look like orc trophy. Blech, yucky. Smells stinky. <laughs> we'll give you Kimari, you can keep him. A big man have lots of stuff. I'm keeping everything. No, g give him Zenoran. Just tell him that he doesn't know his way anywhere. Actually. No, I'll tell them that he's perfect for like dungeoneering roles and that he should do it all the time. <laughs> They'll all get lost and die. Really just sabotage <laughs> them, yeah. If they want to go play DDO, just go ahead and bring Zenoran along. Ooh, okay. So I just had my Kobolds make a perception check. And one of them one notices of them the definitely. dagger sheathed at Chimeri's belt. No. Oh. That triflex sword, you bastard! That what? What are you doing with triflex sword? Oops. We traded the white sword. I gave him some stuff Anyone that we just gave that you, that and he awesome. gave me that. Oh, if triflex already like you, when you talk to him about the stone, maybe he help. Okay, we he will do that. <laughs> triflex had an accident. Yeah, you guys kind of. Killed him. After we find him. When he tried to give us the dagger, he dropped it and accidentally stabbed himself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what happened. Well, they're certainly, they're not... We could just say that the... Go ahead. Um, I don't have, well, I didn't really have anything to say. I was going to suggest something, but what were you going to say? Well, I was just going to remind you that Triflik is the lead they gave you about the stones. So that lead is quite literally dead. So you may need to... So I say, assuming, you know, Triflik is, you know, he, I'm sure he's a great guy and everything like that, but what if he doesn't have what we need, who else can we talk to? By the way, um, just uh, as a hypothetical, would killing your leader make us your leader? <laughs> That's a question. <laughs> Chronicles of Riddick death does not keep what you kill. Yeah, so actually, they one of them says, Oh, you smart, you smart, you right. Triflik? No, no. Better than Triflik uh, would be... Would be Spelok. And the other's like, Oh, Spelok! She's so smart! If it's magic you're looking for, she knows she's so smart. Yeah. Or, or, or there's Wart. No, Wart's stupid. All he'd do is rip books. Oh yeah, it's true. Go Spelok. Spelok, a lot smarter. Alright. <laughs> oh, we. So, can we ask them. him where we can find. <laughs> yeah, we've killed lock. both both the Book Ripper and the other guy, so. Oops. We killed Spelock, too? No, we haven't. Yeah. Not Spelock. Oh, no, not Spelock. Oh, okay. You killed Roar. <laughs> we killed the Book Ripper. Yeah, ask him where can we find Spelock. Oh, Spelock, Spelock, Spelock. She. Uh, and they look down at the stuff again, and they're like, Oh, but she's over there! She, they point in the direction, they say, They're, they're, she said old, old, and one of them hits her, Old arcane workshops. Yeah, arcane workshops, she says. She look over there for stuff. And they, they sort of point in an area and kind of give you a description. If you'd like to do some sort of 
I don't know. They, their description is kind of annoying, but they finally get the point across, and you, you, you're you like, okay, we think we know what direction to go into to find where the Spelok might be. Okay, should we just take them for their time? Give them... Okay, I'll give, I'll pump a bro fist, and then we'll walk off. Hmm. And yeah, Aww. we should you go free the dragonborn. Have you having? Missed, they walked away. You missed your bro fist. You just hit, you hit one of those. No, I, I, I do a bro fist, but it's all like limp wristed. It's yeah, like, I know. Uh. You punch him and draw aggro to a fight. Anyways, I ask about setting the dragonborn free, and then we'll be on our way. You guys already bought the dragonborn for fifty gold, so they're all set. They're gonna take their they're gonna take their yeah, stuff and moves. go like hide it in places or something like that. They're quite content to just leave you alone oh, and okay. take their stuff. I like these guys. We need to run into more of them. I think my bro fist like hit one in the balls. Just he drops over dead. <laughs> they ran away. Good <laughs> thing. I didn't even reach him. No, you don't even think about bro. You just you like you just like think it would be a great idea okay. to bro fist, and you like imagine it, but then you're just kind of like, eh. We <laughs> don't have run up to the to dragon ball, and we yell through the trap that. We are here to help you. Don't be aggressive. We'll let you out of the trap if everyone is okay with that. Yeah, well, you'd indicated that you, you were sort of going to go in that direction before, and that does keep them actually kind of calm while the other two negotiate with the kobolds. And his his lack of, like, freaking out and trying to just break through the trap is part of the reason the kobolds are okay to just sit and negotiate for some time. And now that the kobolds have gone away... Um, you guys are free to to approach and talk and untrap um, this dragonborn fellow. Uh, I'm gonna have to negotiate quickly because it's running slow. You're gonna do what? Sorry. Okay. He's gonna reset. Uh, oh, okay. Slow. It's running slow. So yeah, we approach him. Should we negotiate with them for money, for freedom? Oh, that's cold. Who, the Deacon needs the profit, man. Yeah. Um, first we ask him if he's a rat man. Do I look like a rat man? <laughs> I don't know, that other guy didn't look like a rat man, and then he almost killed Aravan, who is dead anyway. Yep. So, Dragonborn, what are you doing here before we free you from this trap? We would like to know a bit about you. We know that you are safe. Uh, I was sent here with an army to clear out the infestation that's terrorizing the nearby towns. And most, uh, when basically going back... Lies and slander, uh, kill him. Slander, kill him. When going back from our usual raid, I split off with a small group of soldiers to check the town out. And, well, they didn't make it. And do you have any gold on you? We shall free you because we just paid for your freedom. Will you replay us in kind to Deacon? I'll take an IOU, oh, yeah. just to get this moving. Um, yeah, w one thing, um, two trap box, so why is there two trap box? Because I'm making a new token. Uh, I have 15 gold. Oh, okay, my bad. He has 15 gold. Okay, don't worry, we, we shall require assistance on this quest. And you shall not be you, paid oh. <laughs> for your freedom, yeah, you, I don't know. You, you either come with us on the quest and we free you, or you don't. And we kill you after the quest. You guys are cold. Either way, mm. you're coming on the quest. And then take your money anyway. No, I just he... let him out of the trap <laughs> and give him a high no. five. I'm like, welcome to the party. No, no. Yeah, okay, that's Deacon. More funny. Deacon, I got the path once. We're taking. Yeah, I know. We're voting to exterminate Deacon. Okay, there we go. No, no. Deacon's cool. I like him. That's what we say. Okay, we'll free you, but we need your assistance on this quest. You may or may not get paid depending on how good you do. Yeah, well, do you accept Dragonborn? Dragonborn. My initial plan was to 
clear out the town, so yeah. Okay. Ooh, we got a little dragon bone. Okay, I'm just making his character sheet, give me one sec. Do -do 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 -do. Some sort of, I don't know, extravagant music as a party member joins. Ah, uh, just the inception sound again. Barm. Also, he's supposed to be a dragonborn, but his icon to me looks like a dog. It's like a dude with a helmet on it. It was just it's like the most generic map tool token in the whole thing. But it'll have to do for right now. I don't know, it looks like a dog. What? Zoom in. A dog? He looks like it's... one of those angels <laughs> that like I nobody loves. Alright. Cool. No, he needs a dragon 